Hi guys, I'm Shandor, welcome to my cinema. Today I'm going back to the amazing works of Alfred Hitchcock and finally, finally, I'm about to watch North by Northwest starring Cary Grant. I have watched Notorious and To Catch a Thief on this channel, both starring Cary Grant. I enjoyed both of them, Notorious especially, what a fantastic movie that was. So uh, I'm actually really, really excited about this one. Now, I think that Cary Grant is going to be wrongfully accused in this movie. And as far as I know, in the Leslie Nielsen movie, Wrongfully Accused, there is a scene which is a direct parody of a scene from North by Northwest. You know, I mean, when the plane is flying over a cornfield or something. That's pretty much all I know about this movie. I'm yet to watch a bad Hitchcock movie, and I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be one of them. Oh, one more thing, guys. This video might end up being severely edited. YouTube hasn't really liked my... Hitchcock movies recently, so if that happens, I'm sorry in advance. There was nothing I could do about it, so I just thought I'd let you guys know, you know? Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Here comes North by Northwest. Three, two, one. Oh, nice music. Really nice music. It's intense and playful at the same time. Is it New York City? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's New York City. <laughs> hey, Alfred Hitchcock! Hey, that's him! I caught him this time. Spread the good word in as many small time segments as we can grab. And let the opposition have their high ratings while we cry about it all the way to the bank. Now, each piece wrapped in gold paper. See, I like that. See, I think she's keeping money. <laughs> Just say to her, darling, I count the days, the hours, the minutes. You said that one last time. I did? Yeah, taxi? <laughs> I beg your pardon, I have a very sick woman here, you don't mind. <laughs> I mean, uh, perfectly all right. Say, do I look heavyish to you? What? I feel heavyish. Put a note on my desk in the morning. Think thin. <laughs> Think thin. Hey, the dialogue is super fast and snappy. I love it. Call my mother. Reminder, we've got those theater tickets for tonight. Oh, wait, Maggie, you can't call her. She's a missus. Oh, too late. Okay, so he's a busy man. He works in advertising. He's got a wonderful secretary. Oh, what a nice camera move. Kaplan, I've got to get off a wire immediately. Could you send it for me if I write it out for you here? Oh, I'm not permitted to do that, sir, but if you'll follow me. Oh. Would you excuse me, gentlemen? The car's waiting outside. You will walk between us saying nothing. What? What are you talking about? Let's go. Let's go where? Who? Oh, come on, fellas. What is this, a joke or something? Yes, a joke. We were laughing in the car. Come. What the... What the heck is going on? Don't tell me where we're going. Surprise me. Yeah. Can we stop off at a drugstore for a moment so that I can explain I'm being uh, kidnapped? <laughs> well, that is what's happening, isn't it? He's witty. Townsend. That's a nice place. Gorgeous shot. That was a great edit. Beautiful wides. Never mind that. Say to him, Kaplan. By the way, what are we having for dessert? <laughs> is in the library? No. What is this Kaplan thing? Like, Cary Grant is called Thornhill, right? Something like that. Thornhill, I think. So, who's Kaplan? What is Kaplan? What, what is all this? Mr. Lester Townsend. I love how the movie instantly just draws you in, you know? You immediately have so many questions. At least I do. Good evening. Evening. A little more polished than the others. Than the I'm others? I'm so glad you're pleased, Mr. Townsend. Not that I mind a slight case of abduction now and then, but I have tickets <laughs> to the theater this evening. <laughs> to a show I was looking forward to. Such expert play acting, you make this very room a theater. Did they mistake him for someone else? Did you call me Kaplan? I know you're a man of many names, but I'm perfectly willing to accept your current choice. Current choice? My name is Thornhill. Roger Thornhill. Has yeah. there been anything else? Of yeah. Course. I'd like you to tell me how much you know of our arrangements. Oh. And of course, how you come by this information. Naturally, I don't expect to get this for nothing. Of course not. Don't misunderstand <laughs> me. I don't really expect you to fall in with this suggestion. 
Why don't you surprise me, Mr. Kaplan, and say yes? I've already told you. We know where you're headed for. And I know where I'm headed. I'm headed for the Winter Garden Theater in New York, and I think I'd better get going. We also know your contact in Pittsburgh since Jason committed suicide. What contact? I've never even been in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, well, come on, guys. Like, seriously. I don't suppose it would do any good to show you a wallet full of identification cards, driver's license, things like that. They provide you with such good ones. Oh, come on. Give Mr. Kaplan a drink, Leonard. A pleasant journey, sir. Uh, come on, don't they know better? That is ridiculous. Cheers. Is it gonna knock him out or something? That's a lot of bourbon. How can someone get into a situation like this? Gorgeous shot. Freaking gorgeous. Oh, I see what they're doing. Don't worry about me, fella. I'll take the bus. <laughs> Amazing shots. Amazing. That is very close. <laughs> He's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was able to stir the car away. Nice. Don't you love those old, old school green screen things? When they are clearly not driving. <laughs> yeah, I figured figured that was gonna happen. Well, you know, better to have a DUI than falling off a cliff, being murdered, practically. Hang on, but it's it's not even his car. It's not even his car. Somebody call the police. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's humor in this movie. I didn't expect humor. It works. The car was just reported stolen. I figured. Oh, mother. Mother, this is your son, Roger Thornhill. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing such a great job. No. No, mother, I have not been drinking. No. No, these two men, they poured a whole bottle of bourbon into me. Which is true. You get my lawyer right away and come out and bail me out. Tomorrow morning, tell her. Tomorrow morning, he says. Oh, what an unfortunate right. situation, you know, because obviously the police caught him, you know, in his drunken state. <laughs> so obviously they're they're not believing him, you know. And I'm now going to ask your permission to draw blood. Oh, how disgusting! You <laughs> may refuse to permit a blood test to be made, but if you do refuse, your license will be revoked. Counselor, how long have you known your client? Seven years, Your Honor. Do you know him to be a reasonable man? Absolutely. Uh. Uh. Mother. Ah, uh, seriously? My client says this is what happened. I'm, I'm certain it must have happened. Well, I mean, after all, Your Honor, would I make up such a story? That is precisely what we're intending to find out, Mr. Thornhill. Well, yeah, I mean, it's quite unbelievable. I, I give him that. But I'm glad that at least, you know, they're willing to investigate. But I guess nothing's going to come of it. Which sucks. Yeah, that was the room. All right. Roger, dear, we were so worried about you. What? Did you get home all right? Of course you did. Let me look at you. Oh, a little pink-eyed, but aren't we all? You haven't gotten into trouble, Roger. Now stop Has calling me Roger. Into trouble? Roger, you said you were going to call a cab. You what? didn't borrow Laura's Mercedes. What no, a I freaking didn't scheme. Laura's Mercedes. Roger was a bit tipsy when he arrived here by cab for dinner. She's lying. Knew I should have served dinner earlier. What a performance. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. Does the name George Kaplan mean anything to you? George Kaplan? No. I didn't think so. Is there any place he can be reached? Why, yes. The United Nations. What? What? United Nations. He's addressing the General Assembly this afternoon. What? Do you mean you're not going to do any more about this? Roger... Pay the two dollars. This is ridiculous. You know, but the movie does a great job at making you feel for Kerrigan's character, right? Because we have seen, you know, what he had been through. 
look at that woman. Goodbye. Yeah. Ah ha. Ah ha. So he was there. Well, that's odd. He hasn't answered his telephone in two days. Maybe he's dead. Locked in the bathroom. Well, uh, do me a favor, will you? Put on that sweet, innocent look you do so well and go to the desk and get the key to 796. Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't do such a thing. Ten dollars? Not for all the money in the world. Fifty? Roger, you are disgraceful. Mm -hmm. But she's going to take it, huh? Yep. Okay, so Kaplan is in room 796. Maybe he's dead. The bed doesn't seem like it's been slept in, and I was just wondering if I ought to go on changing the linens, you oh, know? Uh, thank you for your interest. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so the bed wasn't used, apparently. Now she seemed to think I'm Kaplan. Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if I look like Kaplan. Probably. Look who's here. Who? Where? Our friend who's assembling the General Assembly this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Roger, I think we should go. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. I'll be late for the bridge club. Good. You'll lose less than usual. Yeah. Elsie. Do you know who I am? Sure, you're Mr. Kaplan. But, but, but... Uh, when did, uh, when did you first see me? Outside the door. On the hall, a couple of minutes ago. How'd you know I'm Mr. Kaplan? Well, of course you are. How? It's room 796, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you're the gentleman in room 796, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I forgot. What time did I give you that suit? Last night, around, uh, around 6. Oh. Did I give it to you personally? Personally? Oh, no, Mr. Kaplan. You called on, on the phone and described the suit to me and said it would be hanging in your closet. Like you always do. Like you always do. I'm beginning to think that no one in the hotel has actually seen Kaplan. Yes. Maybe he has his suits mended by invisible weavers. Well, obviously, they've mistaken me for a much shorter man. Yep. There's so much intrigue in this movie. Certainly not. I love it. Who is this? You met only last night and still you do not recognize my voice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Now, wait. Oh, maybe. Are they gonna try to kill him? Oh, operator. Mr. Kaplan. Yes. That call was made from the lobby, sir. It was? It was okay. From the lobby. They're probably on their way up here right now. Come on, let's get out of here. I think I'd like to meet these killers. Yeah. His mommy is way too excited about this. Yep. Gentlemen aren't really trying to kill my son, are you? <laughs> I'm being followed. Can you do anything about it? Yes, I can. Do it. Ah. Oh. Nice driver. Gorgeous shot. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this movie. This is great. Freaking great. You wanted to see Mr. Townsend? Yeah. This is Mr. Townsend. How do you do, Mr. Kaplan? This is what? Mr. Townsend. Yes, it is. Well, there must be some mistake. Mr. Lester Townsend? That's me. What can I do for you? Mr. Marty, delegation. Okay, this is getting more and more difficult. Are you, what about Mrs. Townsend? My wife has been dead for many years. Oh. Look, do you know this man? <gasps> oh, oh. No, don't touch that freaking knife. Don't, don't. Ah, uh, great. Indicating that the name of George Kaplan, which he gave to an attendant at the General Assembly building, is false. Apparently, the poor sucker got mistaken for George Kaplan. How can he get mistaken for George Kaplan when George Kaplan doesn't even exist? What? What are we going to do? Do? About Mr. Thornhill. We, uh, we do nothing. Oh, we could congratulate ourselves on a marvelous stroke of good fortune. Our non-existent decoy, George Kaplan, created a divert suspicion from our actual agent, has fortuitously become a live decoy. Yes, Professor. Uh, How long do you think he'll stay alive? Well, that's his problem. That's freaking crazy. We can't sit back calmly and wait to see who kills him first. Van Damme and company, or the police. We didn't invent our non-existent man and give him the name of George Kaplan establish elaborate behavior patterns for him 
move his prop belongings in and out of hotel rooms for our own private amusement. Okay. Give any hint to Van Damme that he's pursuing a decoy instead of our own agent. Then our agent, working right under Van Damme's very nose, oh. will immediately face suspicion, exposure. Okay. And assassination. Okay, okay. So... The two others who went before. Goodbye, Mr. Thornhill, wherever you are. Man, that sucks. That sucks. But okay, so apparently the agency has an agent in Van Damme's group. You saw the newspapers. My fingerprints are on the knife. I'm a car thief, a drunk driver, and I murdered a man for revenge. Yeah. I wouldn't have a chance. And I won't have until I find George Kaplan, who obviously knows what this is all about. Poor guy, he doesn't even know that Kaplan doesn't exist. So the police is gonna be after him. Van Damme's people are gonna be after him. Who else? Poor guy. I love how the color of his suit matches the color of the train. That's awesome. This movie looks absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Like, seriously. Who is this lady? He went that way. I think he got off. Why did he do that? Uh, why did she do that? Thank you. It's quite all right. Seven parking tickets. Ah. <laughs> I love the humor in this movie, you know? Did not expect it at all, but it's so funny. This is beautiful. One of the best looking Hitchcock movies I've ever seen. Vertigo was one, definitely, but this one also. And to catch a thief, that also looked great. I know, I look vaguely familiar. Yes. Ah. You feel you've seen me somewhere before. Mm -hmm. There's something about my face. It's a nice face. <laughs> oh, you're that type. What type? Honest. <laughs> Not really. Oh. I tipped the steward five dollars to seat you here if you should come in. Oh. Is that a proposition? I never discuss all but an empty stomach. <laughs> You've already eaten. But you haven't. <laughs> Great dialogue. Incredible. I'm Eve Kendall. I'm 26 and unmarried. Mm, important information. I'm an industrial designer. Are you? Jack Phillips, Western sales manager for Kingby Electronics. You're Roger Thornhill of Madison Avenue, and you're wanted for murder on every front page in America. Yep. And don't be so modest. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> He's like, Oops. Hurry. I won't say a word. How come? I told you. It's a nice face. That's my trademark. Rot. <laughs> Roger O. Thornhill. What does the O stand for? Nothing. I have a large drawing room all to myself. That doesn't seem quite fair, does it? Drawing room E, car 3901. The clock tells us, please, to hurry. Patience is a virtue. He's always breathing. Ah. Just lie still. Have you got the olive oil? Oh. 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 You didn't tell me anything. We'll be in the observation car at the rear of the train. It's comforting to know that. I'm a big girl. Yeah, and in all the right places, too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're planning to murder me right here tonight. Shall I? Please do. She's weird. She's really weird. Unless she's also an agent or something. Well, we'll see. Make women who don't know you fall in love with you. I'm beginning to think I'm underpaid. <laughs> this movie is so full of awesome lines, you know? Nice of him to have opened the bed. Yes. Okay, now this is going on for way too long. Like... This is stalling the movie so far. At this point. Not so far, at this point. Mm. 
Mm. That look. That was interesting. Oh. What? What do I do with him in the morning? Eve. Aha. Aha. I was right. Nine ten. Nine ten. Well, he may have left his hotel room by now. Huh? Well, I'll call him for you as soon as we get inside the station. Well, yeah, but it's like useless. A red cap in a phone booth. Slightly suspicious. You know, the pacing is so great. Well, apart from this, you know, little romantic scene, if you will, which went on for way too long. But other than that, this is quite a long movie, you know, like it's 2 hours and 15 minutes, 2 hours and 16 minutes, something like that. But it's so well paced so far. It's so intriguing and entertaining and exciting and funny and all of that. Oh, I've got it all written down for you. Oh, thanks. You're to take the Greyhound bus that leaves Chicago for Indianapolis at 2 and ask the driver to let you off at Prairie Stop, Highway 41. They're coming. Yeah, I think she feels sorry for him. I think she, she actually likes him. This is just absolutely beautiful. Again. Gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. But obviously she wasn't talking to Kaplan because Kaplan doesn't exist. So it must have been Van Damme. And that means that Cary Grant is in trouble. Again. Are you supposed to be meeting someone here? Waiting for the bus. Do any minute. Oh. That's funny. What? That plane's dusting crops where there ain't no crops. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this famous scene. Which was in wrongfully accused as well. Yeah, I know the scene. Holy! That was really close. Whoa, they're shooting at him too. That's bad. How's he gonna get out of this situation? This is freaking epic. <laughs> Seriously. No music. And you don't need music. It's tense. In and of itself. And it seemed practical. Like, wow. Well, the plane's got to run out of fuel at some point, right? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Again, that seemed practical. Holy... I did not see that happening. This is freaking epic. This was such a fantastic sequence. Seriously. Kaplan. Yeah. I think he checked out. How come I got a message from him at nine? What's that? Putting two and two together. No getting rid of me, is there? Okay, so she's happy to see him. That's good. It's funny, isn't it? Well, why funny? Oh, after all those involved and explicit directions he gave you on the phone? Mm-hmm. You're my little helper, aren't you? Thank you. To us. To a long and lasting friendship. Yeah. Yes. Goodbye. Business? Mm-hmm. Yes. Industrial designing business? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, there's a gun. Stay far away from me and don't come near me again. We're not going to get involved. Tell me, how does a girl like you get to be a girl like you? Lucky, I guess. Oh, not lucky. Naughty. Wicked. Up to no good. Mm-hmm. Ever kill anyone? Mm. Get that cold shower after all. Good. But is he taking the shower, actually? Uh, whistling, singing in the rain. That's funny. Yeah. Smart guy. There must be marks on the paper. Exactly, I was just thinking about that. Smart guy. 12-12. And Michigan. All right. Before we start calling each other names, perhaps you'd better tell me yours. I haven't had the pleasure. You disappoint me, sir. Could it be an overpowering interest in art? Yes, the art of survival. Well, have you poured any good drunks lately? <laughs> I didn't realize you were an art collector. I thought you just collected corpses. 500. 500, thank you. I'll bet you pay plenty for this little piece of sculpture. Uh-huh. She's worth every dollar of it. Take it from me. Now, she puts her heart into her work. Uh. In fact, her whole body. Yeah. Lend to Mr. Van Dam at 700. Mr. Van Dam. 400 is paid. I wonder what subtle form of manslaughter is next on the program. <laughs> Am I to be dropped into a vat of molten steel and become <laughs> part of a new skyscraper? <laughs> He's so willy. <laughs> Start the bidding on this collector's porcelain. Restart the bidding. Ah. Uh, Kaplan, we've had just about enough of you. Something seems to tell me I've got a much better chance of survival if I go to the police. Well, good night, sweetheart. Don't think it will. Ah, uh, that's a look. Last call. Sold. Twelve hundred dollars. Thank you. This movie is... F okay, it's a Hitchcock movie. It's full of suspense, okay? But it's so good. Like, it's so well done. <laughs> yeah, he's smart. He's so smart. Sorry, old man. Too bad. Keep trying. <laughs> so rough. So smart. You've hit the jackpot. Chicago police capture United Nations killer. It's him. That's right. Congratulations, man. Yeah. This is 1055 Sergeant Flam. We've got a man here who answers to the description of Thornhill, Roger. Come again? You sure? What is going on? Okay. Right. Yeah, I got it. 1055, off and clear. What is going on? I'm a dangerous assassin. I'm a mad killer on the loose. You <laughs> ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, well, yeah, in a way. Okay, I, I see. I see. It's fine. I wonder if it's because the FBI guy made a phone call. You're police, aren't you, or is it FBI? FBI, CIA, ONI, we're all in the same alphabet soup. Okay. Well, thank you, I've seen Mount Rushmore. Uh, so is your friend Mr. Van Damme. Van Damme? Uh, a rather formidable kind of gentleman, eh? Yeah. Now, what about that treacherous little tramp with him? Mr. <laughs> Kendall? Yeah. His mistress, we know all about her. Tell me, what's Van Damme up to? Oh, you could say he's a sort of importer, exporter. Of what? Mm-hmm. Oh, government secrets, perhaps? Oh. Why don't you grab him? What's all this got to do with Mount Rushmore? Well, Van Damme has a place near there. Believe me, Mr. Thornley, he doesn't exist. Which is why I'm going to have to ask you to go on being him for the next 24 hours. Ah. Come on. Poor guy. He's just being dragged along. All the freaking time. You started this decoy business without me. You finish it without me. Yeah. I thought there was any chance of changing your mind. I talk about Miss Kendall, of whom you so obviously disapprove. Yeah. I don't suppose it would matter to you that she was probably forced to do whatever she did in order to protect herself. To protect mm. herself from what? Exposure and assassination. You see, Mr. Thornhill, she, she's one of our agents. Oh come on! 
Much more than our life is at stake. So I guess I was right again, because I suspected her to be an agent and also a member of Van Damme's group, so... I suppose you were surprised to get my call. Not at all. I knew the police would release you, Mr. Kaplan. By the way, I want to compliment you on your colorful exit from the auction gallery. <laughs> but I tell you, I not only know the exact time you're leaving the country tonight, but the latitude and longitude of your rendezvous and your ultimate destination. Hmm? Perhaps you'd be interested in the price just the same. The price? For doing nothing to stop you. I want the girl to get what's coming to her. You turn her over to me and I'll see there's enough pinned on her to keep her uncomfortable for the rest of her life. You do that and I'll look the other way tonight. I'm curious, Mr. Kaplan. What made you arrive at the deduction that my feelings for Miss Kendall might have deteriorated to the point where I would trade her in for a little peace of mind? I don't deduce. I observe. <laughs> Cold. I save the family tears. Are you little fool? Will you just stay away from me. Huh. What? 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 No good, sir. I really hope he was wearing a vest. A vest. Uh, this must be a part of a plan. Like, uh, yeah, that's the FBI guy. So, yeah, he must have been wearing a vest. Gorgeous shot. Number five million six hundred and seventy-two. Awesome Hello. frame. Awesome. Hello. So she was shooting blanks, right? I wanted to tell you. I mean, apologize. I did treat you miserably. I. Uh, I hated you for it, and I, I. I used some pretty harsh words. I'm sorry. You didn't get hurt. I'm so relieved. Of course I was hurt. How would you have felt? I mean, in the class, <laughs> you fell when I shot you with the blanks. Oh, okay, that. she was oh, shooting no. blanks. But not Cary Grant on the train! <laughs> men like you. What's wrong with men like me? They don't believe in marriage. <laughs> I've been married twice. See what I mean? Yeah. Wait a minute, not so soon. I've got to get back to the house and convince them that I took the long way around so nobody followed me. You and I are going to get together and do a lot of apologizing to each other in private. You know that can't be. Of course it can be. Tell me. Why didn't you? Oh. She's going off with Van Damme tonight on the plane. Oh, okay. That sucks. She has to. Nobody has to do anything. Hmm. I don't like the games you play, Professor. Yep. War yep. is hell, Mr. Thornhill. Well, now, come on, get now, out. please. Yeah. Poor guy. I wonder what he's about to do. I enjoy this movie so much. So much. This is so good. Like, seriously. So good. Not a wasted moment. Not a wasted minute. It's all just freaking great. My only complaint about this movie so far has been the... Uh, train scene because I think it went on for a bit too long that's my only complaint about this movie you know like for a guy who works in advertising like he's got balls like seriously stop oh excuse me stop <laughs> <laughs> that was funny Gorgeous, like seriously again, what a gorgeous shot. This whole movie is just freaking fantastic in terms of its cinematography and you know just the visual presentation. Oh, here's this dude. And that woman, okay. Why else would you have decided not to tell her that our little treasure here has a belly full of microfilm? 
They seem to be trying to fill mine with rotten apples. Sometimes the truth does taste like a mouthful of worms. The truth? Leonard? <gasps> uh. The gun she shot Kaplan with. Uh. I found it in her luggage. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but he's right, though, so come on. Hurry on, Tara, darling. It's almost time to leave. In a moment. But yeah, so now she's actually in danger, like serious danger. You're not taking her on that plane with you? Of course I am. Like our friends, I too believe in neatness, Leonard. This matter is best disposed of from a great height. Mm. There on to you. I'm in your room. But my most valuable attributes, as it now turns out. Yeah. He's heading pretty far out on the north leg and awfully high. Well, I, uh. I guess he's going to play it safe with a long, slow descent. Hmm. Couldn't ask for a better night than this. So Stealing much tension. I love it. Oh, I think I left my earrings upstairs. I'll be right down. Now listen to me. They know all about the fake shooting. They're going to do away with you. What are you talking about? Leonard found the gun with the blanks in it in your luggage. Whatever you do, don't get on that plane. You know, the whole movie has been super exciting and stuff, but the third act is filled with so much tension. And it's so much fun because of that. This whole movie is, actually. It's great. Freaking great. Stay where you are. Beautiful framing, like, once again. As soon as the plane leaves, my husband and Mr. Leonard will be back. This sucks. I wonder what's gonna happen. What the? The housekeeper had me pinned down for five minutes before I realized it was that same silly gun of yours. Ah! Uh, see, you've got the pumpkin. Yes. Ah! Uh. This is awesome. Are they gonna jump? Wow. What do we do? Climb down. We can't. Here they come, we have no choice. She's in high heels, like seriously. That is just epic. Like, seriously. That is epic. This is crazy. If we ever get out of this alive... This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, that's all I can say, but... This is freaking crazy. In the best way, I mean... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look up, dude. Come on. This is super tense. Oh. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Good edit. This is silly. I know, but I'm sentimental. <laughs> okay. 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 They made it. That's good. Well, guys, this was North by Northwest. Do I need to say anything? This was 
Hitchcock movie and it was absolutely fantastic. I loved pretty much every second of this movie. Okay, except for the scene on the train, you know. It could have been cut by like a minute or two. Huge complaint, right? What a wonderful movie. What a fantastic movie. It's funny. The dialogue is incredible. The cinematography is out of this world. The acting is fantastic. <sighs> Come on. The tension, you know, the suspense, the intrigue, the pacing. One of the best movies ever? Probably. Yeah, probably. As of now, I can't tell whether I like this one or Notorious or uh, Vertigo more. And throw in Rear Window into that equation as well. Like, seriously, Hitchcock was a freaking genius. I, guys, I'm speechless. This was fantastic in every way. One of the best movies I've seen in a long, long while. <sighs> That's it. I hope I hope YouTube isn't gonna you know fuck me over way too much with this one because I want to show you uh, as much of my reaction as I can in this video. So hopefully, you know it's gonna stay and not gonna get claimed left and right. But if it does, I'm sorry. But just to let you know, this was incredible. Guys, thank you so much for watching this movie together with me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And see you all next time at the cinema. Bye.